Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's have a first look at the Samsung Galaxy A50s. And in fact, guys, as you can see, Samsung even launched the A30s. This, you could say, is the younger brother of the A50s. But in this video, we'll be having a look only at this A50s. And uh, I would say this is the successor to the Galaxy A50. But uh, now, this is a far more camera-centric uh, phone now. And it also has a new Exynos processor. And uh, before I open the seal, uh, as you can see, uh, this one has that triple camera and on uh, in-display fingerprint scanner, that means it's, it's going to have an AMOLED screen. And it just says octa-core processor uh, here. This is the new Exynos 9611 octa-core uh, processor. And it has that 6.4 inch full HD plus uh, screen. And uh, that triple camera with 48 megapixel uh, sensor and a 32 megapixel uh, what do you say front facing camera and if you notice uh, this is the 4 gigabyte ram variant and uh, this also comes with 128 gigabytes of storage there is also one more variant that comes with 6 gigabytes of ram but that will also have uh, 128 gigabytes of storage and in terms of pricing the pricing is out uh, the pricing for this one that is the 4 gigabyte uh, ram variant uh, is actually 22999 and for the 6 gigabyte it is 24999 so let's quickly open this up and uh, for available guys uh, this will be available everywhere I believe uh, in Samsung local stores and even online stores so let's quickly open this up and have a look so we have this I always miss this we'll have the case and other things I'm assuming but let's look at it and yes a case is there and, and uh, some paperwork and all these things warranty card and all these things I'll just keep that to the side and this is that standard uh, what do you say TPU rubbish case that you're getting and uh, this is the device itself let's just take this out tightly packed actually doesn't want to come out <laughs> that's yeah and let's remove this this has the dual tone uh, finish on this I'll let's remove this so you can have a look and that triple camera setup and now finally with the 48 megapixel and front is supposed to be 32 we'll come back to the device later but here as you can see uh, this is, uh, uh, I hope it's a Type-C cable, let's look at it. Yes, it's a USB Type-C cable that you're getting, so that's nice. And we also get a headset uh, within the box. Uh, these are, are uh, these normal headsets that you're getting. And this also has a integrated uh, button and a microphone here with Samsung branding. So let's keep that to the side. And let's look at the charger. And uh, guys, uh, this is a 15 watt fast charger that you're getting in the box. So let me keep that to the side for now. And uh, let's look at the handset itself. Uh, so guys, here is the handset itself. And this is actually having a 6.4 inch screen. Let me give you a physical overview first. And on the top looks like uh, we have a noise cancellation uh, secondary microphone. And uh, the back looks that, uh, like that polycarbonate back. And as you can see, the light reflects, so gives you that patterns and all those things. Uh, and uh, here uh, we have the volume rockers, uh, gives a good tactile feel and the power on of button. Bottom will be your main vent for the uh, speaker. A lot of plastic is applied, I'll remove that. And this is the USB Type-C port, 3.5 mm headphone jack. And on this end, uh, we have the SIM tray. Let's look at the configuration of the SIM tray. Interesting thing is uh, the base storage is 128 gigabytes and uh, really nice to see that uh, we are having a dedicated uh, micro SD card on this one. So that's actually a nice thing. Let's just put that back. And if you go at the back, uh, uh, no fingerprint scanner because uh, this is an AMOLED screen and this will have in display fingerprint scanner. So let's just power this on guys. And uh, by the time it actually boots up and I set it up, let me give you a configuration overview. The Samsung Galaxy A50s is having a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED screen. That's a full HD plus screen. It's powered by the new Exynos uh, 9611 uh, octa-core processor. Uh, it comes in four or six gigabytes of RAM and storage will be 128 gigabytes. Moving to the camera, the Ray triple camera setup is divided into 48 megapixel, which is the main one. Then we have a five megapixel for depth. And then we have a eight megapixel, that's ultra wide lens. Moving to the front facing camera, it's a 32 megapixel. And it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery with the 15 watt fast charger and in display fingerprint scanner. 
So hi guys, now I have set up this device and in fact used it uh, for a day or so. And let me quickly give you an overview. And as you can see, this also comes with the Samsung UI. And uh, we have apps, some of the apps are actually uh, pre-installed, but not a lot of junk way. And the thing that I liked on this one was that it has actually Samsung Pay. And it's actually not, uh, what do they say, just the dumbed down version of Samsung Pay. In fact, it has the full version. And the thing is that uh, it also has NFC support over here, as you can see. So that is actually a nice thing on this one. And we also have Dolby Atmos, but for that it says, so you have to use it uh, with, with say headphone uh, plugged in or a Bluetooth headset. So you have that. We also have that always on display option over here. So again, uh, I would say Samsung did not skimp on a lot of things. And what I really liked about this device, I'll show you some of the samples. The camera is actually really good on this. Even in low lighting, it has that night mode, which actually really works. We have a lot of smartphones that have the night mode, but on this one, it really works. And also I took some video while just walking uh, casually, uh, just not being stable. Then also the video came out uh, good. But I'll show you the samples later on. But let's quickly look at it what else do we have this is the samsung ui that you're having and if you go over here and one thing to note interestingly uh, on this one this is similar to the note 10 if you just hold by default i didn't change the setting if you just hold this for a while the power button it invokes the bixby button and in fact let me just unlock it has the in-display fingerprint scanner over here as you can see it launches bixby if you press this power button for to shut it down just like the note 10 you have to go over here and click it so here they have put it, uh, this is similar to the Note 10. Uh, but anyways, let's go to the settings. Let me actually show you. And if you go to about the phone and here in software information, as you can see, it's running on Android Pi. That's uh, version nine on this one. And uh, the One UI version is 1.5 on this. And uh, again, let's just go back. And if we go over here, and if we go to device care, again, I've taken on quite a bit of sample shots. Uh, so let me actually show you how much storage is left. Out of that 128, uh, about 107 gigabytes is left. But again, I've taken a lot of sample shots with this one. As I've told you, storage should not be an issue on this device because it comes by default with 128 gigabytes. And we also have that micro SD card dedicated slot on this one. And by the way, guys, this is the base variant, 4 gigabyte uh, RAM variant. And again, as it's an AMOLED screen also, I don't have any problems uh, regarding the uh, screen. The screen quality is actually good on this one. Viewing angles, as usual with AMOLED screen, is good. It has that in-display fingerprint scanner over here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it works. And another thing is that you don't have to just wake the screen like this always. If you do this gesture, it automatically, uh, it's not doing right now, but it wasn't, but it wakes it up like this screen and you can press this in display fingerprint scanner. So we have that in display fingerprint scanner on this one. Uh, now, uh, moving towards the back, as I told you, this is again that polycarbonate back that you're having. It looks good, but I am using it without the case. I would suggest that you use it with the case. Otherwise, you'll get all these, what do you say, uh, fingerprints. Uh, but uh, let's just go back over here. And uh, the thing that I really liked about this one was the camera. And let me show you the camera interface. In fact, I really like the camera on this one. And uh, this is in the night mode. I'll show you some, it does some really crazy stuff in the night mode. By default, you'll be in this photo mode and this is regular. And if I go to this one, it goes to the wide angle mode. And as you can see how much it can capture. So we have that. Uh, it easily you can move between them and again we also have the portrait mode I don't have some stuff here but I'll show you some samples that I took of myself and uh, now moving to the front facing camera here also they have done a very good job by default you have this it's just a single camera guys it's not a dual uh, setup but again you can go a little bit wider if you want like this and we also have the live focus here so you can adjust the background blur how much you want. It says effect ready, and then you can take the snaps. Uh, so the camera performance is actually really good. And I really like the fact that uh, this night mode, what we have <laughs> does some really good job. And we also have uh, the pro mode if you really want. Uh, but let me do one thing. Let me actually show you some of the samples taken with this one so that you have a better idea. Now moving to the samples, as you can see, these were taken with the rear facing camera. And I also like the fact that it has that wide angle lens and the colors are very vibrant on this one. This is a regular shot. And uh, if you can see, this is the wide angle uh, lens. And general uh, shots actually come out really good with this uh, device, as you can see. And uh, I also like the fact that human subjects, these are some of my own pictures, come out good. This was the wide angle lens. And this was that portrait mode that I used. And one more example, this was the regular shot. 
and here I use the portrait uh, mode. Again, the pictures come out to be good as you can see. Now these were taken in completely artificial indoor lighting and here also especially the camera did a much better job than I expected. It auto adjusts, uh, detects the scene and gets the uh, shots night. This was taken in regular mode and here I enable the night mode and notice the difference in the night mode. The night mode is really uh, bonkers and this was almost dark but in the night mode as you can see how it came. Now with the front facing camera is that 32 megapixel and definitely it does a really good job as you can see but there is slight skin smoothening that you can see but overall I would say the camera the front facing camera that 32 megapixel does a very good job as you can see with these sample shots. Now recording this uh, video in the wide angle lens and as you can see it's really wide and I'm uh, happy that uh, they are allowing us to record video with this uh, wide angle lens and I'm just walking guys so this should give you an idea how is the video recording. Now recording this video with the front facing camera of the Samsung Galaxy A50s and guys I'm just walking around and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone. So this should give you an idea how is the video recording with the front facing camera of this A50s. So guys that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at the Samsung Galaxy A50s. So what do you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy A50s? Do let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at the Samsung Galaxy A50s. If you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.